You know, sometimes it's easy to spot media bias, but there are many subtle ways that media shapes public opinion. Withholding pertinent information, whether intentional or not, can seriously sway what you think. For example, you've heard many dire claims about highway funding being cut, but the truth is that Kansas spent more money on highway projects in the last two years than ever before. Media has that information but won't report it. Here's another one. Some legislators and others routinely claim that small businesses haven't created any jobs with the tax relief they received, and media dutifully shares those claims, even though there wasn't a shred of supporting evidence. Well, we now know that U.S. Census data shows that pass-through businesses created most of the new jobs. And again, media has that information, but won't report it. Well, we've had enough, and we're doing something about it. I'm Dave Trobert, president of Kansas Policy Institute, and I'm delighted to tell you about a new online news service we're helping to launch. It's called The Sentinel, and its primary purpose is to hold media and government accountable. Now, our dream team of investigative journalists will post several stories every day exposing false claims, missing facts, and all types of bias in Kansas and Missouri. Now, we have two great reporters ready to go, but we need to add at least one more before we launch. We're trying to raise $30,000 by the end of the year so we can add another reporter. Now, you see, the Sentinel is a nonprofit organization, so your contributions are fully tax deductible. If you've had it with media bias and government run amok, please consider joining the Sentinel team with your tax deductible gift and putting another truth warrior to work.